Okay, so here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the vector image of the grumpy octopus that I created and the PNG version of the grumpy octopus that I created. And side-by-side, -side, um, although the vector one is very clear, and I'm sure it's probably just how I exported it, I, um, I haven't exported the PNG graphic in a while so I probably don't have the best settings but as far as the difference and what it can do here's a good example so this is through like the root of the leg so this one will control the far one in the back well with this one here um, with the vector image that's about as much as I can do the rest of these won't interact um, they look nice and I can I can move them around and it's still great if you want to create a multi leg character and have the ability to manipulate all of the limbs I do like that this is still I mean I thought this was beautiful until I saw the the PNG version of it so once again you know you can play around with this you can stretch it and make it like it's growing or shrinking but um, that's what you're going to get out of the vector version of it now when I slide over here to the PNG version it's a whole new can of worms so once again I can take it to the limb and I can move this as a matter of fact I'm going to start with the far back one like I did the first one so I can take it over here and I can manipulate it like this but then I can turn around and manipulate it some more and more So I can really make this guy, um, if he was in water, really um, just just do all types of stuff. And to show you one with a better view, you know, once again, this is moving the leg, and then this is moving pieces within the leg, and it just kind of curls up just like you expect um, an octopus leg to do and without over stretching it you can just I mean the way it makes the tentacles stretch out that is beautiful so up until now I have not been playing with the tool correctly and I must say um, although I do like the results I got from the vector and I probably will still do some in both depending on what I'm doing this is by far I mean if you can imagine this in water in a water scene and then it's just moving around like it's floating in water it's, it's going to come out very nice extremely nice that is awesome